hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm back again with another video this time it's about whack for you and camera whack for you and now i just want to talk to you about dev blog from whack for you for what uh whack for you update 1.74 we're adding the option to create and modify custom interface themes so yeah this was already introduced in doofus way back when i used to play doofus but i don't really show much doofus on my channel There's only one video i upload on doofus but yeah but before i get into talking to you about update 1.74 don't forget to su subscribe like share and comment down below and also don't forget to join my discord server uh, just click the channel link on my youtube channel on my youtube channel page and you can join my discord server feel free to talk there please do not be uh, negative on my discord server so yeah let's stop rambling on about that and let's continue with the discussion so the results of the recent surveys reconfirmed to us that you would like an improved appearance for interfaces in the game including the ability to customize them however you like to allow for this while providing the tools for you where for you to change their textures and coloration without altering the size of all functionality how do interfaces work let's start with some information about interfaces these are all the menus, toolbars and windows that other useful information and let you interact with the game. There are other 250 of them representing over 85,000 lines of code spread out across 400 files. There are also over 1,500 styles and a hundred or so colors that describe the appearance of each of the elements making up these interfaces. The most complex interface is the character, inventory, 2000 lines, 12 templates and 83 functions. The interface engine that manages all of that is called Zulo. It was created long before the game came out in the first beta versions of Wack and Deepest Arena. Although it met the game's needs at the, at the inception, now it, not, now it no longer offers a feature of archive to produce interfaces that are modern, reactive and suited to larger resolutions. We strive to make improvements to it, but this system has limitations. Nevertheless, we will continue to modernize the game interfaces when the opportunity arises. The various graphical elements that or comprise the interfaces are arranged on large images those images are red or read when the game launches and stored in the system when the interface is open the various graphical elements that make up the particular interface are searched for within the large images to assemble them and, dis and display the interface so this is the UI you you receive when the update comes but it looks like a, a modern system Pe people or players have been asking for this for years so now they've re released it so now whack looks like it has a dark mode a dark mode feature obviously this was created by someone on photoshop so yeah why isn't there a dark theme we have explored the possibility it would be rather easy to make a basic incomplete dark theme that could be improved over time but we very much don't want to provide an imperfect unfinished theme true but doesn't it take longer for you to improve the theme yeah you can improve it over time but it's how fast can you improve the theme the dark mode theme over time yes it looks nice Yes, it looks pretty. Yes, it does. I do. I do prefer this theme, dark mode. 
looks nice but yeah that's it I think when the beta update releases for 1.74 we can go and test it out or I can show you a test view on my channel on themes as well so yeah we can I can show you that after but for now you can also check their um, and camera live uh, live stream on twitch or something like that you can watch that but it's in French so you can translate if you're an English reader and you can watch their video from there so yeah I think that's it because you get the drift if you play Doofus or Wackfu or any like and cam or well not any but Wackfu Doofus or yeah within, within this category you will know about themes and stuff I don't really need to go into detail about themes and stuff but yeah it's positive it's good it's really good yeah it's a nice update you know but yeah I'm excited but not too too excited but it's okay could be better I'm glad the team uh, made a made a world made a world decision yeah that's it guys very short discussion video don't forget to add your comments uh, down below so we so I can uh, reply and uh, improve on my discussion videos so yeah to see us again make sure you click a uh, dev track and anchor tracker so yeah Ho hopefully you enjoy guys have a good one